Welcome back to Switched to Linux. Well, today we're going to have a look at an upcoming Arch distribution. This is not out for complete ready use, but you can grab daily downloads to test it out. This is called Crystal Linux. Of course, all of the different built-in tools that it has are based on, you know, various crystals. We have Onyx, we have Jade, we have Amethyst, all sorts of other fun things. Head on over to their website at GetCryst. It's G-E-T-C-R-Y-S-T dot A-L. So Get Crystal. Uh, last two letters are, are uh, separated by a dot. And um, they have a GitHub page where you can view all of the source code. All of the new tools are open source. And again, this is not completely ready for testing. Uh, I could not get it to work in VirtualBox, but I was able to get it work on working on GNOME boxes. So we are using GNOME boxes today. A little change of pace, which is good. It gave me an excuse to download GNOME boxes, which I've meant to do for a while. All right, so uh, when you get in here, they do have their own customized GNOME. I think it's kind of like Zorin. It'll do, uh, it just has this nice customized GNOME. We'll show you what that looks like. Uh, when you are using that, you have some nice GNOME extensions, which gives you some, some GUI Arch updater tools. We have Caffeine uh, enabled to suspend the screensaver and uh, things like that. It also comes with, um, it does say automatic backups. I have not seen this basically, but it is going to use the ButterFS system. It and on the installer, the installer is a little bit, um, uh, it's a little bit unique. Um, and the installer will allow you to choose your desktop environment. You can choose to install or not install time shift for backups and a few other tools on there as well. Otherwise, so it's a very simple, very easy installer. It is a little bit unique. Uh, but it worked well for me. Um, something that they do say is you do need to make sure you have an internet connection to install this. So just keep that in mind as well. Um, Amethyst is a package manager wrapper. So it's a wrapper for AUR and Pac-Man, uh, which comes actually with... Uh, it basically, I, I really like it because it comes with the notations for if you're used to Pac-Man or if you're used to Apt, it's going to work for you well either way. Uh, we'll show you a little bit more. Actually, let's go ahead and show you a little bit more about that now because I've reached the bottom of the page. If you head on over to the... Um, uh, to the uh, detailed usage over here. This is basically detailed usage on Amethyst. You can go in with AME-S. So basically you can use all of the Pac-Man style flags to do everything. So if you're used to that, or if you're more used to uh, FreeBSD, or what I looked at is saying everything in here is things that I would do with um, uh, apt, for example, are available over here. It does have... Um, uh, asynchronous downloading so you can uh, when you're downloading new packages uh, it'll work out pretty well you can head on over and grab the daily builds uh, again they are not fully ready for this release uh, but it does give you basically an easy to install arch build with a few extra tools um, not a whole ton so there are still some bugs in the system whatever else I downloaded this one a couple of days ago probably right right around this. I think I did download it. Uh, I think I downloaded it two days ago, uh, come to think of it. But let's go ahead and have a look at the desktop. So this is using their Onyx theme. Now, when I first installed it and got in over here, I was not on the Onyx theme. I'm like, what's going on? This looks exactly like GNOME. And so basically what it did is it brought me to the login screen and the login screen there is simply had uh, it had gnome as the, your basic, so I had to go down and select Onyx from the uh, from the window down here, and it looks like it's running on Wayland by default because we have the Xorg option there as well. So you can go ahead and get logged in over here, and you're going to land here, which you can see it is gnome, but it is a more customized version of gnome. So let's have a look at our settings, and I just want to see if I can find the, oh, I'm on applications, like, what's going on there? I just want to see the, the about information. So we just have Crystal, here's our information. I gave this box 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, since we're in GNOME boxes, it can use all of my cores. 
software rendering graphics and let's see so we are gnome version uh, 42.4 and we are on wayland so that is a little bit more about what we have all right let's go ahead and close out of our settings we do have down here our caffeine is enabled so we can uh, turn that on if we want to do that and then this down here is our uh, notification updater here so it tells us there's two updates pending and it's going to tell you what it is so we have a uh, mutter and a gnome shell we have the update now we can have the check now and then you have your settings in this panel as well so we have a variety of different settings you can disable output parsing you can do the command for the updates you can see it's doing just pac-man type stuff and here's your indicator. You can always do visible or always make it hidden. Um, we can use built-in icons or not. We can show the update indicator or not. So there's a lot of options that we have inside of here. That works out pretty nice. As far as everything else, uh, it's right now it just looks like your basic arch i did install evolution just as a test everything else comes pre-installed you can see that there's not a lot of extra bloat firefox is our default time shift was the option whether we wanted to install it or not uh, let's go ahead and pull up the terminal though and have a look at this amethyst so it's just do uh, ame and i just did ame install and uh, let's go with uh let's put something that's not massive that i can download off the top of my head everything package i'm thinking of off the top of my head is pretty big let's all right let's just do filezilla uh let's see so let's give it our password and okay 12 megabytes that's not too bad so it's just downloading six packages and you can see here it's just woo, moving along on everything pretty quickly this guy is really nice i gotta say i like amethyst that's pretty cool so now we should have um uh, we should have filezilla there you go we got filezilla in our system so it also is going to work um it should also work with uh, our pac-man um uh, settings here as well. So let's go with Bluefish. These are just things I use in my web design world. Uh, let's go ahead and say, yeah, it looks like there's really nothing to install except for that. So it looks, at least we did the FileZilla with a lot more, you know, show you the impressing, uh, impressive asynchronous uh, downloading there. And you can see it works well if you want to use, uh, you want to use your app style or your um, BSD style or your Pac-Man style. Either one is going to work. There are still a few bugs. I think one of them is that the current software store does not download properly on the first time. Um, maybe that's fixed, but that was one of the things in the bug reports. Everything else, though, it looks pretty nice. Uh, again, you do have the option to as to which one of your uh, desktop environments you'd like to install, and there were a lot, pretty much everything you can think of in there. Uh, I saw Sway, Plasma, Cinnamon, Budgie, um, XFCE, Mate, everything was in there. So if you want a window manager or you want a full-fledged um, desktop environment, you can go ahead and do that on the installer itself. There's one download to, to grab and everything else is going to be uh, based on that. So this is going to be one to keep an eye out for. It is not completely ready for its release yet. They're still working on it. But for those that want to see more Arch-based distributions with a few extra nice GUI tools involved, Go ahead and have a look at it, download it, and uh, let them know some bug reports, and that's going to help have a much, much better system uh, as soon as it's ready for uh, ready for prime time. Anyway, that is Crystal Linux. Again, I'll have a link for that down below. Check it out if you are into the Arch systems. And so far, it works pretty well for me as long as we are over here on GNOME boxes. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Have a look over the website, switchtolinux.com, uh, if you want to help support the channel. With that, thanks for watching, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash t-o-m-m or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.